One city is a multi-ethnic and racial city. It is a city that houses local and international business conglomerates. A city that is commercially viable, vibrant and dynamic. That city is the city of Lagos. Let's get to know more about this unique city on the City of Lagos TV show. Let's go there. You're still watching the City of Lagos TV show. From the governor's office comes latest engagements of Mr. Governor, Mr. Babajide Somolu. First, the Lagos State Governor, Mr. Babajide Somolu, was present to witness the 96th Yoruba Tennis Club Anniversary Celebration Lecture with the topic, Social Clubs and the Search for National Coercion in Nigeria, presented by the APC Vice Presidential Candidate, Senator Kashim Shatima Mustafa. Senator Shatima, in his speech, brought to the fore the historic national accents, value and relevance of the club in nation building. The social clubs and the search for national cohesion in Nigeria. I have deliberately chosen this as a topic because of the incredible role that your club and its members have played in the history of our country. The Yoruba Tennis Club came into being in 1926. It is therefore the oldest indigenous social club in Nigeria. The context of its emergence must be reaffirmed in order to understand it better, as well as to be able to situate it within the broad historical sweep of the developments of the 1920s in the British colonial system. By the 1920s, Lagos had been consolidated not only as the capital of colonial Nigeria, it was also the home of a multitude of indigenous Nigerian professionals, lawyers, accountants, medical doctors, surveyors, engineers, journalists, nurses, etc. It was also the city of railway workers, post and telegraph staff, civil servants, and sundry workmen of all hues. We must also recall that three years earlier, the first political party had been established in 1923, headed by the man we all favorably remember as the father of Nigerian nationalism, Herbert Macaulay, the doyen of Lagos politics of the period. That party was the Nigerian National Democratic Party, NNDP. As a matter of fact, the period of the 1920s into the 1930s saw a vibrant political climate in Lagos, which provided the backdrop to the consolidation of groups like the Yoruba Tennis Club. On his part, the Lagos State Governor applauded and commended the choice of Senator Shatima as the guest speaker, describing Senator Shatima as an instrument of positive change. We have made a right choice in Yoruba Tennis Club. Today's annual lecture by inviting our vice presidential candidate. He has rolled out for us the history of our Greek club and how the interchange of social inclusion had been the trajectory of our greater Lagos. He has espoused the intellectual acumen, his mental sagacity, and his ability to support our presidential candidate. He has demonstrated to us this morning that he's a round hole in a round peg. And he's a man of tremendous, tremendous capacity. And he's a man that we truly believe will help and earn everything that demands of that seat. It's not just sheer politics, but sheer capacity that the two of them are bringing to bear. He's a financial wizard himself. And he's a man that understands the real issues regarding the economy. And I want to say that indeed, it's been an eye-opener, not to me alone, but to all of us. The Lagos State Governor, on behalf of the state, recently signed a Memorandum of Understanding between the Lagos State Sports Commission and the French Embassy in the area of eSport. 
First, on her part, the French ambassador to Nigeria, Mrs. Emanuele Blattman, spoke on the strategic relevance of the MOU. Signing of this the MOU is not is more than just a roadmap to strengthen the Nigerian esport ecosystem. It's actually a representation and a living example of the goodwill and partnership uniting Nigeria and France, and more specifically, the great state of Lagos and France. Uh, Lagos State's comprehensive great public development mandate intertwines today with the French Embassy in Nigeria's directive to support the growing and qualitative creative and cultural uh, industry sector here. My embassy, as it was said by the uh, Honorable uh, Commissioner, since uh, September uh, 2021 is actually the f very proud to be uh, the first French Embassy in the world, uh, first French diplomatic uh, mission to have got approved um, a cooperation program through a special fund uh, with a component entirely devoted to structuring and strengthening the local esports ecosystem. In his response, Mr. Governor noted the significant potentials and long term benefits of the Memorandum of Understanding to esports development in Lagos State. Signing an MOU is a beginning, in my view, of a long lasting, mutually beneficial relationship and what had the relationship we're building an ecosystem in esports that will transform the current state that it is that's one but more important it to uplift you know our people it's not about us in this room it's about the various thousands and thousands of youth of young people who are not here but who will be the real beneficiaries of what we're doing and for me that's really the essence of governance. That's really the essence of collaborations like this. Let's, as bureaucrats, you know, let's get the real work done. Let's step back and let's get the real people get to do the job. I'm not the most knowledgeable person on esports. You know, when the director general also spoke about, it, I said, really, they said we've done so much. I said, really, and I'm like, so you realize that even the governor doesn't know a lot of things. But I'm learning, right? But for me, when I saw the background to it, I know fully well that it's the right thing to do. I know that the time is right, and I know that the space has to be in Lagos. So Lagos is also, again, laying the foundation and being the very first to be able to see you know, the future in this spot. And that's a wrap from the Governor's Office segment on the City of Lagos TV show. The show continues right after this time out. <music> Hello Lagos, my name is Bukola Agbaminoja. I'm the Executive Secretary of the Lagos State Film and Video Services Board. Are you a film practitioner? Are you a content creator? Are you an animator? The city of Lagos is waiting for you. Come and film in Lagos. We have a beautiful atmosphere. We have a scenery for you to film in. And we, the Lagos State Film and Video Services Board, will assist you in making sure your filming experience is the right experience. We have a governor that is passionate about the fame industry. For further inquiries, visit us on all our social media handles, which is displayed on the screen. And you can visit us at our office, 133 Awolowa Way, Ikeja, Lagos. Film and Video Sensors Board is geared to ensure that the film and video sector in Lagos State is top notch. Igbega Ikpileku, Ajumo Shegbogbowani. You're welcome to Property Lagos on the City of Lagos TV show. There is a critical agency that is saddled with ensuring that ownership of 
homes in Lagos is a dream come true. And this is one organization that is setting the pace in mass housing in the city of Lagos. I'm talking about the Lagos State Mortgage Board, also known as Lagos Homes. Let's welcome the General Manager, Chief Executive Officer of the Lagos State Mortgage Board, Mr. Bayoa Forsyth. It's a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you. What is the mandate, the vision and mission statement of this esteemed organization? The mandate is to reduce the housing deficit in Lagos. That was why the Lagos State Mortgage Board was created. The Lagos Mortgage and Property Law established in the year 2010 and the board was inaugurated in the year 2014. The primary factor or the reasons why this was created with the acronym for Lagos Homes called Lagos Home Ownership Mortgage Scheme. This is based on the fact that looking at statistics, the housing deficit in Lagos alone is over 4 million. So the government looked holistically into it and see that how do we mitigate this situation and they came up with the Lagos Homes Ownership Mortgage Scheme where you can access homes built by the government with a single digit interest rate, a reduced and subsidized asking price on the property. Lagosians would like to know what are the various strategic efforts, products, initiatives and projects that you've actually executed, employed to set a pace in bridging the house deficit in Lagos. We looked at the statistics and felt the deficit is so much. And we saw that we had people working in the center of Lagos and living in the suburb. So quality of life was actually very low. You get people wanting to get into work at about 8 o'clock in the morning. They leave Okokomaiko, for example, at 4 o'clock in the morning to get to work for 8 o'clock. They leave probably Marina, the center of the city, at 5 o'clock after work and not get home until about 11 o'clock. So the government thought, Wherever we find land within the city, we can now build. And that is why today you can go to Ilupeju and you see 120 units of one, two, and three bedroom on the Lagos Home Mortgage Scheme. You can go to Ogba in Wemko Road, you see 144 units and another 96. That is Anthony Ainahoro Scheme on Wemko Road. So we're building in the five divisions of Lagos. The Ibile divisions we have in Badagri, Mushi, Ikurudu. The governor, Mr. Babajideulu Sharasonwolu, has just commissioned two solid schemes in Ikurudu. One is the Prince Abiodun Guleye scheme that has 360 units of one, two, and three bedroom. We only just about a month and a half ago, the governor commissioned the Ibeshe housing scheme in Ikurudu as well. We're looking to go into Agbawa very soon that has 660 units and all these are for Lagos residents. We'll come back to the Lagos central area which we have 744 units of Shongutedo housing scheme that we're currently pushing out to Lagos residents as we speak. There's the other aspect of the Shongutedo phase 2, 444 units which is coming up very soon. All these are for Lagosians but primary there are certain things you have to be able to show to the board. One, you have to either be in full-time employment or do your own business as a self-employed and show that you have a monthly income. Basically, what we do here, uh, we pre-qualify. You cannot use more than 33 one third percent of your monthly net income to service the repayments over the monthly repayment. Lagosians would like to know how affordable, accessible and available are these housing units for Lagosians. In comparing to what you have in the private sector, the government has actually really, really subsidized these housing schemes. In terms of asking price, for Lagos residents, we've gone as low as 1.5 million for a room and parlor in Ekpe that has been fully subscribed to. With that, you only pay 15,000 Naira per month. Uh, the equity contribution of 5% is just uh, 75,000 Naira. The interest, the premium of about 6%, and that shows is very, very good. For the Ibobo scheme, the maximum price you would pay on the three bedroom is 8.5 million. But you don't have to put that 8.5 million down. 
you put an equity contribution of 400,000 and a repayment of about 82,000 every month. Accessibility. Looking at the super urban area, which we're calling Shongute, the lucky access, you wouldn't really call that social housing. But you have people who work in the aviation sector, work in the communication sector, who do not necessarily want to buy land. They just want, you know, ready-made. We have people even in the banking sector, entertainment sector, that really wants these places. So those ones are going for 15 million, 20 million, and 25. The repayments for that is for the one bedroom, you have 158,000 per month. Uh, for the two bedroom, you have 210,000 per month. And the three bedroom is 263 thereabout. If you look at that, if we're going to do a pre-qualification on that, for the three bedroom, you should be able to show us that your monthly net income that comes to you is just a little bit over 800,000 Naira per month. We do it firstly on first come, first serve basis. Now we must understand that the demand is so high. They have so much confidence in the government now, most especially when Governor Babajide Sonwolu took the realms of affairs and made housing one of the key factors in his team's agenda, making housing 21st century economy. He has commissioned so much within the last two years. He has done probably about 14 estates. That suffices to say that the demand is more than the supply. Then the second thing we look at is the debt to income ratio is a factor at which we look at who to allocate and who not to. Because in this game, you have potential defaulters. And the only way you get your potential defaulters is through the pre-qualification process. We have a process here. Once you get the offer letter and do all the payments, it's even stated on the offer letter that there is an insurance premium to be paid. Whilst you're making that payment, there's a risk. There's a risk on your side and there's a risk on the government side. The risk on government side is that you've only paid probably about 5% of the asking price of the property. So the 95% risk is on the government. So it's statutory and mandatory you make that insurance payment against fire. On the other side, you have life insurance and that is for you. And we make it very, very important. So if anything happens to you, then our insurance, which is the Lagos State Insurance, LASACO, make those payments. They either do the payment as against the unit itself, uh, spouses or your children, they take possession of those units. So it's very, very important. We always put a facilities manager there. They meet all the allotees meet a facilities manager before they move in. In fact, it is the FM that will midwife them into various apartments. So we make it very, very important that a facilities manager is appointed to every scheme and we make sure that facilities management payments are made initially, then subsequent ones are made annually. What is the nature and level of synergy with all the key stakeholders. Are there challenges you face in this business? All we do here is we pre-qualify and we do the allocation based on when the units are completed. However, whilst these constructions are going on, we go there, we inspect, we look at the timelines as well. If they give us a June completion, we come back and tell Lagos residents that Agbawa scheme is going to be ready in June. So obviously that synergy we have with the ministry that builds all these houses, the Lagos State Development Property Corporation, who are home providers as well. Apart from that, we also do collaboration and talk to the private sector based on what they really can provide for the state government, even through the ministry. Such projects that have actually happened lately was the Ecostone collaboration. They built about 255 units of two and three bedroom bungalows in Idale, in Badagri. Very soon, that will be completed and brought onto the rent to own program of government. The main challenge is the supply side. What government has done lately, I don't think there's any government uh, apart from that in Lagos that have done something like this. To date, 
over 10,000 individuals would have benefited from what the state government has done regarding the rent to own program and the mortgage scheme. In the next probably 36 months, the first set of beneficiaries of this scheme will be rounding up. They're going to hit their 120th month in about 36 months' time. As at the time they bought this property, I could say today that they're not going to sell it at that price. What we need from the government is to build more units for teaming Lagosians who need these units. On a final note, what's your word of assurance and encouragement to Lagosians, prospective house owners, and of course to your stakeholders? First and foremost, on behalf of Mr. Governor, Mr. Babajide Olushola Sonwolu, the talk and do it governor, who has been so passionate about shelter, who obviously we all know came from the shelter sector as the managing director of the Lagos State Development Property Corporation and brought that wealth of expertise into running Lagos as a whole. We want to say today that this is a very, very important sector to us. Those who have not benefited, we are here. You can call on us. We are open to you. Whatever the issues are, I want to say clearly today that it's a thing in progress. We're going to build around the five divisions of Lagos. Those who do not get Shongutedo phase one will get Shongutedo phase two. Keep knocking at our door. We are here to make sure the housing unit goes around Lagosians. To stakeholders, the demand is high and supply low. We want to collaborate with the private sector to be able to have more units and we're open to innovations as well. Basically, it's just been a success so far. Thank you, sir, for coming. Thank you very much for having me today. Well, it's been a wonderful time speaking with Mr. Forsyth. It's quite clear that uh, Lagosians are in for a good deal when it comes to home ownership in the city of Lagos. We'll be right back after this time out on the City of Lagos TV show. Stay tuned. Hello Lagos, my name is Dr. Emanuela Zamba and I am the General Manager for the Lagos State Health Management Agency. We are responsible for implementing Iliraiko, which is the Lagos State Social Health Plan and it is meant to provide access to quality and affordable care for all residents of Lagos State. Regardless of your socioeconomic status or your ethnicity, you are eligible to have access under this scheme. Please join us on this journey. So far, we have been able to empanel about 563,000 Lagosians, but we know that we still have so many of you, 20 something million and counting. We are calling upon you today to join us on this scheme. For 8,500 or 40,000 Naira as a family, you are able to join this scheme and you will have access to wonderful benefits. You have a cough, you have a febrile illness, wife is pregnant, she needs antenatal care of course, she will need to deliver. Even if it is by caesarean section, we are here to ensure that she delivers that baby safely and you have your wife and baby safe. If she needs blood transfusion, we will provide for that free of charge. We also have operations. You can have an appendicectomy, a herniography. If you are asthmatic, you join us. You have hypertension, you have diabetes. We are here to provide care to all levels of Lagosians. We can give you glasses. You can see a dentist. You can see a consultant. You can do your lab tests. You can get x-rays done under Iliraiko. We have a customer care center that is specially set up to take care of all your needs and all your inquiries 24 hours of every day of the year. You call us at any time on 0800 Ask Lashma or 0700 Iliraiko and an agent will pick your call and respond to your inquiries. Please join us on this our journey to universal health coverage in Lagos State. We have 250 hospitals and counting both public and private hospitals across all local governments in Lagos State that are here ready to provide access to care for you and your family. We are just asking you to imbibe this culture of health insurance. Set a little aside for the day that one or two members of your family will need to access care and you'll be able to do that without affecting the financial power of your family. I would like to seize this opportunity to thank our governor, Mr. Babajide Olishola Sonolu, for the support and the push that he has been giving Iliraiko to move forward in our mandate to serve the people of Lagos State. Iliraiko 
leaving no one behind. Igega Ikleko Ajumoshe Bukwani. Ordinarily, such stuff should not be found within residential schemes. There should be areas where they should be located within residential schemes. But we don't have a plan, so people erect anything and everything anywhere. And such kind of substance is very hazardous. It's not about relocating, it's about enforcement. They should relocate them, or they should have a, a gas up, just like having industrial up. You go to a bank and avenue, what do you see there? You see Kedja industrial up. If you want to operate gas, governments will give them a gas up. Whereby you go to go to that place, you see various entrepreneurs running gas business. If there is a challenge, it will be within the confines of that place. Sure, it's risky. We're talking about chemical substance here. The vitality of this gas substance, it's not supposed to be situated where people live. There should be a central location where the government can actually, you know, put up such a plant, you know. It's just for the safety of everyone. I think the government should regulate them because that's the that, that's like the best way. It is a very very big risk to us around the environment. They shouldn't shut all of them down once because at least they should at least kind of like give them time, give them notice that okay, well, in maybe like six months find the another place to move to, so that at least all these old ga gas flame we are seeing won't um, occur often. All this gas line or the filling station too. Most of them, they do not always follow the safety protocols, which always really affect the society. They should relocate them. Mind-blowing, interesting and refreshing moments is here again on your favorite show, Entertainment Lagos, on the City of Lagos TV show. Let's roll first with Juicy Entertainment Jets. I'm your city girl, Joy Olaidi. First on Entertainment Jets, award-winning director Kulia Falayon's epic film and Nicola Po is set for the Africa debut. The epic will begin streaming in cinemas and on Netflix from September 30th, 2022. Sensational artist Asha Kett's debut album, Mr. Money with a Vibe, has debuted at number 66 on the Billboard 200. This makes it the fourth ever highest charting Nigerian album after Bonaboy's album, Love, Damini. Spotify has announced Iris Star as the latest radar global artist. The rising star, born and raised in Nigeria, is the newest addition to Spotify's Global Imagine Artist program. Congrats, girl! The Big Brother Nigeria Season 7 is officially in its crunch time, with two weeks of its grand finale. Alison and Jotsu were evicted over the weekend. The house is now left with eight housemates contending for the 100 million grand prize. Who will win this coveted prize? Let's keep our fingers crossed. Finally, on Entertainment Jest, let's now review five Nigerian celebrities who are married to foreigners. Susan Peters, Ufama Mark Damot, Uche Jumbo, Karen Igo, and Regina Askia. And that's it on Entertainment Jest. Let's now show you with our Gospel Artist of the Week. This lady is electrifying. Stay blessed. Fuanu bi yonri, fu ishago ti koloye, fu abu ala ilonka. Emma she o, oya so fun pe o she e she, so fu olore e she. Emma she o e she. Emma Sheo Baba. Hello, Lagosians. My name is June Nisi, your gospel artist of the week on Entertainment Lagos on the City of Lagos TV show. It's hallelujah time with me on the show. I will be right back. Hello, Lagosians. I'm back and I'm glad to be here. My full name is Ola Jumoke Omobolaji. I am from 
Arigidi Akoko in Ondo State, but I was born and bred in Lagos. Precisely, I was given birth to at Ilupe Ju, you know. You know, that's where I had my primary school education at St. Paul's Primary School and later proceed to Estate Grammar School, Tamplani Way. So, Omo Eko Gogoni, me, I'm a Lagosian. Professionally, I went into music in the year 2017. And up till now, we thank God, it's been good. God has been faithful, it's been rolling. There are people in the industry that we actually look up to, that you enjoy what they do, you love what they do. And uh, one of them is Tokbe Alabi, Tasha Cobbs, Sinaj, Nathaniel Bassi, and so many other. I have an album released in 2017. And um, since then, I've released so many other singles. Among them is Fresh Fire, Mini Inotu in Yoruba, Mogbe Oga, I Praise You. It's a slow, I life song which you're going to enjoy. Anu Re, Your Mercy. And I have a praise medley song, very long combination like that. Ma Bogolo, Kemi Ba, Blessings, Baba. Ma Bogolo, Kemi Ba, Blessings. Then I have, I'm working on another single presently titled Alagbara. It's going to be out at the end of this month. Alagbara, told you Alagbara, Lord. Oh, logo. Oju bo bo lo go la Giga giga Kuma la fi we ra ra Yi ye yi ye Kuma la bu ku kon kon Hello Lagosians! It's time to perform one of my eat song titled Fresh Fire in no soon you said this is a song that will spur you into prayer mode pray with every of the lyrics in the song and you are there speaking in tongues when i'll be back it's going to be fresh fire Oh, 
gbogbo agbara to lo diga so un ba ku ki so layo oluwa se lo se emi mi mo dana su o wo le isura ota mi lo oluwa wo le isura ota mi lo ani ko bere ni jade o bere ni jagbangba wo le isura ota mi lo baba bere ni jade ko bere mi wa fun mi wo le isura ota mi lo oluwa bere ni jade oluwa bere ni jade wo le isura ota mi lo o ya mi o ni ja mi o ni ja iko lo mi e ja apada mi o ni ja o ya ma so mi o ni ja ma sha la yo so wa mi go 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 ti le re go go yi re ti le re e yi so ta ti da lo ki a wo 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 ma ti apada ma ti o lu wa ma ta wa ta mi bi ti re mi wa o lu wa ta fu mi eh eh ma so ma so ma so o ma la se ni bi ki bi ti e to mi a si lo wo furi lo wo furi lo wo ma ti lo wa lo wo ni a la wo lo wo ni a la wo luju e mi mi mo ma gba fu wa e mi mi mo ma gba fu wa o lu wa gba jade ni tori ni ma so lu wa da ikolo si o ni pada awon so da bi eni tin la o lu wa se yanu laye awa na bi o si gba jade ma fina yi mi ka bo si fina yi elija ka fina yi mi ka o lu wa fina yi mi ka ino e mi mi mo fina yi mi ka ba fina yi mi ka o lu wa fina yi mi ka ino e mi mi mo fina yi mi ka ino ko se mu o ino ti a ki fi bi be ino e mi mi mo fina yi mi ka ino agbara loju ogun ino agbara loju o ino e mi mi mo fina yi mi ka baba fina online on all digital platforms audio mark on spotify you can play just go online type the name juminisi just going to come out for you and you can easily download my social media handles are simply juminisi instagram facebook tiktok juminisi you find me why do i prefer singing gospel songs i've had the talent i've had the gifts i've had the opportunity to sing you know at different platforms growing up but I, I didn't take it serious and I didn't intend to do anything with it. But I had both capsized in 2016. And after that experience, while I was kind of drowning, I was saying to myself, okay, what have I used my life to do on earth? If I get to heaven, what have I used my talent to do? Who have I effect in any way? And um, 
coming back to life and God saved me, I made up my mind that no, I've got to do something with this. So let me say, it's a call, it's uh, to bless humanity. Before I go, this is my passing shot to you all. Now, we all know God, we all have had a bad goal. But I want you to know today that the reason we come to God is not because of money, it's not because of cars, it's not because you want to have children, because you could get all of this in different, many other ways. You don't need God to get pregnant. You don't need God to have a child to build a house. So the reason why we come unto God is to journey with God, is to be like God, conform to his character. And I pray as you start your journey with God, Starting with Christ. Christ is the beginner point. You get more to know about God and then uh, become like Him at the end. Hey, Galatians, it's been fun with you guys, but you know, I've got to go. Time waits for no one. It's been a great time with you. But before I go, I'm going to leave you with this my pattern song titled Mobe Oga. I praise you. Let's roll with it together. Let's enjoy it. on the show today. I hope you had a swell time like I did. Join me again next week as I chill you with another fantastic package. Until then, have a fun-filled weekend. Bye! The city of Lagos is a city of fortunes and great opportunities. Until we come your way again next week, 
come to Lagos and make a significant difference. Thanks for watching.